Hello friends, welcome to Spicy Cat Colors. My name is Kathy. I am happy. I am blessed today. I hope you are as well. I am here with a coloring tag. I'm so excited. I say that I think all the time, but I am really so excited because this is the second time I was tagged by a creator, which to me is mind blowing because really I just started not that long ago out here, but Anyway, I love doing tags, anything like that, that gets me into my books. And this tag was created by the a beautiful Zoe over at Addicted to Coloring. I'm going to link her video down below and the eye in the sky in case you haven't seen it. She has been so amazing and supportive to me and is just an overall good person. So I was more than happy to take part in this tag. And I'm hoping other people that see this, I am going to tag some people. Why don't we just do that right away? But I want you to know, please do this because I haven't seen it out here. And I want everyone to do it because it's perfect for this time of year. So it's called the Sunken Treasures tag. And there are 10 prompts and a bonus. That'll all be listed as well, but the people I am specifically tagging are some other amazing YouTubers. The, some started about the same time as me, some are like new as far as channels, and they're all amazing. So what I also want to tell you to do is when you're down in that link going to Zoe's, if you are not subscribed to the people I am tagging, click on the link, subscribe to their channel, so when they do do the tag, you get to see it. And they are really nice people. I, yeah, they are. So I am tagging Miss Ren Kelly. Ren, her channel's down below. Tiffany Colors 79. And Miss Sweets Crafting Therapy. She has a strong Instagram game, by the way, and she just started doing videos in case you didn't know that. So go check her out as well as Ren and Tiffany. And then I'm also tagging Danielle over at Danny Buttons because this is a tag I can't believe you haven't come up with. Miss loves all the sea creatures. So let's go through this. I actually picked 10 different books. So that's something different for me. A lot of times I'm trying to like multitask and I did do a little of that, but I'm going to read you the prompts. Can you see I'm, I'm like sliding my cheater sheet right there. Okay, let's dive in. And again, Zoe, thank you for tagging me. I really appreciate it. And I do hope lots of people will do this tag. So the first tag or the first prompt is a treasure, treasure or chest or a treasure chest. So this book you see a lot on my channel because I'm trying to finish it. And guess what? I have four pages left and one of them falls into this prompt. It is the Day of the Dead Sugar Skulls page. And right here, I have a treasure chest. So I was planning to do this in June. Let's see if I can get it done. Number, oh, I didn't plan this. I need to rearrange slightly, move the remotes. I need a spot for the, the books I've shown you. Okay. Second prompt is a puffer fish. I was surprised I actually found several puffer fish. There were a couple of these I thought were gonna be tricky. And it was more, I had to decide once I wanted to do them in different books that it got tricky. So here in my little Crayola mer creatures, I found this puffer fish. I mean, I feel bad for him because he's being the ball in the volleyball game between the mermaids and the dolphins, but it's, it, it is what it is. It's a puffer fish and that's what I wanted. <laughs> so I have a puffer fish. Number three, I was really trying not to use 50 ocean miniatures, but I think it would be very fun for someone to do all the prompts from here. Pretty sure you could find them. So 50 Ocean Miniatures, Camellia Angel Cova. I have a sunken ship is prompt three. So here's my ship. I'm assuming it's sunken because it's hanging out with a crab, a fish, and an octopus who are now playing pirate. I believe they are children. And they found this ship sunken at the bottom of their world. And now it's turned into a playground for them to be creative. So there's my sunken ship. Prompt number four is coins. Bear with me on this one. 
I still kept it, I think, in the underwater-ish theme. So in Jade Summer Kawaii Girls, I chose this one for coins. So in my story, see, she has obviously a bag of coins because they are falling out. And if you look, there is water. So I envision there was like a pirate ship that docked in her town and she went and stole some of their coins. But it could be. You couldn't, can't tell me it's not. <laughs> and not that these have to be. I mean, it's called sunken treasures, but obviously the beauty of tags is you take it where you want to take it. Number five is a seahorse. And I found this, so I'm not even sure. <laughs> I have a haul coming up and I think some of my prompts came out of books you haven't even seen me haul. But Cool Cats from Dover. Noel Dahlin is the name, and I am looking for a seahorse. Seahorse I thought would be hard. Again, I found lots of them. And right here, we got this seahorse pal saying hello to the snorkeling cats. Number six is coral. So, perfect chance I try and do a chibi girl every month. So I'm looking through here, what did I find? Actually, I found several. But this scuba girl has quite a bit of coral down on the bottom. So it'll be fun to figure out how I wanna color that. I obviously wanna make the coral very bright and colorful. Coral. Number seven prompt is an oyster or pearl, or extra points if you can find them both together. Okay. Zoe, you didn't say that. I'm saying that. Kind of like with the treasure or the chest. If you find them together, you should get extra points. So this is a new coloring book for me. Super cute coloring book. And I found, there she is. Look at that cute mermaid. What she got in her hand? Oyster and a pearl. Oh yeah. Number eight prompt is jellyfish. So this is one of the books that my husband bought me that I earned for coloring pages. And in this Sachin Sachdeva best coloring 100 pages, there are sections from his mermaids. And I had two choices because I think the page before, look, there's jellyfish like swooning over her doing her makeup. But I liked this artsy crafty girl better and she is painting a jellyfish, which kind of cracks me up because there's no one posing, so it must be off. Maybe she's, you know, he's posing on this page and now she is painting <laughs> the jellyfish. So we got number eight. Number nine is a turtle, is your prompt. So this is a book I've had for a while, not colored in it. So I dug it out. It is called Shine, Color Your Life Beautiful. This is a like Bible verse based spiritual book, but it's really inexpensive. What did I, I got it on Amazon for like $3. And it's got some really nice pictures in here to practice different, oh look, there's some more seahorses. <laughs> but if you're just looking for something to like practice different techniques or different media, this is a really good book because it's not Amazon paper. It's a little nice paper. But turtle. Look at this beautiful turtle I found. Can't wait. I just got those new fine liners. This might be the perfect option for my Arteza Ink Onyx to try them out. Number 10 is seaweed. Very happy again to pull out this lovely book that was a gift. And Wait, it was a gift for my friend Wendy. Sorry, I got all excited. So when you watch Zoe's video, she and I kind of, well, I was inspired by her. So there was lots of seaweed. We've already seen it. But I went kind of a different route, same as Zoe, in that I'm doing this page for my seaweed because I believe if I were a mermaid, what do you have available to make your clothes? Obviously seashells, but anything fabrics got to be seaweed. So I am planning to color the fabric fashions to look like seaweed. That's my plan. 
maybe a tweak. I don't know. I think it counts. And the last prompt is a bonus prompt, skull and crossbones. Again, I thought this would be hard and I found like three of them just in this pile of books. But again, I reached out for something I haven't only colored one page in, which I did it also for a scavenger type hunt. And the prompt skull and crossbones in this book I found too, but I'm going to do this page and it's pretty obvious. It's a color by number, not so much mystery, but there's at least two skull and crossbones on these kids on their pirate ship with the pirate. And that are all the prompts. So again, I will have the list of the prompts in the description box. I will have a list of the channels I tagged as well as the creator's channel or to the her video. I strongly recommend as I said, you pop on out, subscribe to all those channels if you're not subscribed, and I don't know if I can get a full sh a sh a all of these in, and um, do subscribe to them so when they post theirs, you see it, and until they post theirs, check out some of their other videos if you haven't done so. Okay, friends, I'm going to let you go. This is a short and sweet tag video. Again, Ren, Tiffany, Miss Sweets, and Danielle, you are all tagged to do this by me. If you have not been tagged yet, <coughs> or if you want to be tagged, make friends with people I just told you about and have them. They could tag you or just do it and say I tagged you. I hope you are doing well. I appreciate that you spent some time with me today. And in case nobody's told you lately, you matter. You're beautiful, amazing. You're all that. Don't let anybody tell you you're not. You are better than the biggest treasure in the sea. I'm just trying to think what kind of treasure's in the sea, but you know what I mean. The most valuable treasure in the sea, you are just as important. So take care of yourself, friends. Love you. See you next time.